Samantha Ray's hands trembled as she lifted the weathered nap, ancient parchment crinkling beneath her fingers. Emerald eyes, sharp and determined, traced the faded lines of ink, searching for a clue, any clue, to her brother's whereabouts. Three months. That's how long it had been since Ethan vanished into the dense jungles of Guatemala, chasing whispers of a legendary artifact. The Mask of the Jaguar God. A relic rumored to bestow untold power upon its wielder. Power that had seduced men for centuries, luring them to their doom. And now, it seemed, her brother was one of them. Samantha squeezed her eyes shut against the hot sting of tears. Ethan, her rock, her protector. The one constant in a life marked by loss and betrayal. She couldn't lose him, too. She wouldn't. Determination crystallized in her chest, hardening into an unbreakable resolve. Folding the map with reverent hands, she slipped it into her weathered leather satchel, nestled between her battered journal and the cool metal of her pistol. The humid air clung to her skin as she stepped out of her tent and into the dappled shade of the rainforest canopy. Around her, the dig site buzzed with activity. Local workers hauling equipment, fellow archaeologists hunched over delicate artifacts. But Samantha moved through them like a ghost, her mind a thousand miles away. At the edge of the clearing, she paused, one hand resting on the rough bark of a ceiba tree. I'm coming, Ethan, she whispered. Hold on. As if in answer, a throaty chuckle sounded behind her. Talking to the trees, Dr. Ray. And here I thought you were a woman of science. Samantha stiffened, the hair on the back of her neck prickling. She knew that voice, smooth as age aged, whiskey and twice as potent. Stealing herself, she turned to face the intruder. Leaning against a moss-covered boulder, arms crossed over his chest, was a man who looked like he'd stepped straight out of an adventure novel. Tanned skin, chiseled features, eyes the blue of a jungle river. Roguish charm oozed from every pore. Jack Ryder talked. His name tasted like cinnamon on her tongue, spicy and forbidden. I might have known you'd turn up sooner or later. Jack flashed a grin, white teeth gleaming against his bronzed skin. You know me, Sammy. I could never resist a good treasure hunt. Or a beautiful woman. Despite herself, Samantha's heart stuttered in her chest. Once, in another life, she'd fallen hard for Jack's devil-may-care allure. He'd swept into her world like a hurricane, all daring grins and heated whispers, promising adventure and passion in equal measure. She believed him. Believed in a future where the brilliant young archaeologist and the charismatic treasure hunter could build something real, something lasting. Until the night she'd found him with his hands on another relic. The curvy, blonde kind. All soft sighs and adoring glances. After that, she'd sworn off men like Jack Ryder. Men who chased thrills over stability. Adrenaline over devotion. She built walls around her wounded heart, thrown herself into her work. Now, with Ethan missing and time running out, she had no choice but to let Jack back in, to follow him into the hungry jaws of the jungle on a wing and a prayer. Ethan's trail leads to the Temple of the Jaguar, she said brusquely, unfolding the map. We have to find him before he reaches the inner sanctum. Before he finds the mask. What's the rush, Sammy? Jack pushed off the boulder sauntering closer. His eyes glinted in the filtered sunlight. Maybe your brother wants to be found. Maybe he's finally embracing his destiny. Samantha's head snapped up, eyes narrowing. What's that supposed to mean? Jack shrugged, a smile playing at the edges of his lips. The black thorn blood runs thick, or so I've heard. Wasn't your mother a blackthorn? One of the Louisiana blackthorns? Ice slithered down Samantha's spine. Her mother's family, their history steeped in occult whispers and pagan rituals. Secrets buried in crumbling plantation ruins and antebellum graveyards. Secrets Samantha had spent her life out running. Until now. Ethan's not like that, she gritted out, knuckles white on the map. He's not one of them. Blood will tell. Something dark and knowing flickered in Jack's eyes. There's power in the old ways, Sammy. You of all people should know that. 
That's not power, she snapped. It's a curse. One I won't let clay my brother. She shouldered past him, boots crunching on the dense undergrowth. Are you going to help me or not? A beat passed heavy with unspoken history. Then Jack fell into step beside her, his shoulder brushing hers as they stepped into the waiting jungle. Try and stop me. As the forest swallowed them whole, Samantha tried to ignore the searing heat of his body, the spice of his aftershave. Tried to ignore the small, treacherous part of her heart that whispered maybe, just maybe, there was still a spark there, waiting to ignite. Deep in her bones, Samantha knew this journey would change everything. One way or another, she would find her brother. And in the process, she might just find herself. The first act sets the stage for Samantha's emotionally charged quest into the heart of darkness, both literal and figurative. Haunted by her family legacy and the resurgence of her feelings for Jack, she presses on, determined to save the only family she has left. The jungle and the mythical temple of the Jaguar God provide an atmospheric, suspenseful backdrop fraught with hidden dangers and forbidden desires. As Samantha and Jack venture deeper into the shadows, both must confront the lingering heat between them and the dark secrets lurking in Samantha's blood. The jungle closed in around them, a living, breathing entity unto itself. Vines thicker than a man's arm snaked across the narrow trail, thorns catching at their clothes. The air hung heavy with the sweet, cloying scent of rotting vegetation and the distant cries of howler monkeys. Samantha pushed onwards, the map clutched tight in her sweat-slick hand. With every step, her thoughts tangled around visions of Ethan, lost, alone, seduced by the dark promise of ancient power. What horrors had her brother unearthed in this primordial place? And would she find him before the jungle consumed him whole? Beside her, Jack moved with the sleek grace of a predator, machete flashing as he hacked through the dense undergrowth. Watching him, Samantha was transported back in time, to hot Cairo nights spent tangled in parchment maps in each other, plotting the next great adventure. Before the lies, before the betrayal. She'd been so young then, so naive. She'd believed in fairy tales, in the idea that love could conquer anything. Even a man like Jack Ryder. Now, with sweat pooling at the base of her spine and her heart weighed down by a thousand regrets, she knew better. The only thing love bred was heartache. And the only thing men like Jack left behind was ruin. As if sensing her dark musings, Jack glanced over his shoulder, blue eyes glinting. Penny for your thoughts, Sammy. Or are you too busy brooding to notice the deadly viper by your foot? Startled, Samantha stumbled back, narrowly avoiding the coiled serpent. Its scales gleamed an oily black in the dappled sunlight, forked tongue tasting the air. Careful, Jack murmured, moving in front of her. This jungle has teeth. I can take care of myself, Samantha snapped, hating the breathy quaver in her voice, hating that he could still make her feel off balance, exposed. I'm not some starry-eyed grad student anymore. Believe me, I've noticed. His gaze raked over her, hot and appraising. In more ways than one. Before she could summon a sufficiently scathing retort, the low rumble of thunder echoed through the trees. Samantha glanced up at the once blue sky, now churning with ominous gray clouds. We need to find shelter, she said grimly. We can't survive a storm this deep in the jungle. Leave that to me. Jack set off with renewed purpose, Samantha scrambling to keep up. Minutes later, just as the first fat raindrop splattered the broad leaves, they stumbled upon a ruined stone structure. Half-crumbled walls strangled by moss and vines hinted at Mayan architecture, hieroglyphs still visible in the worn rock. Jack ducked inside, Samantha on his heels. The cool shadows enveloped them as the sky opened, rain pounding the thick canopy in sheets. Wiping the damp from her brow, Samantha squinted at the glyphs. Fragments of a dead language, yet hauntingly familiar. Her heart seized as she traced a clawed shape. The Jaguar God, she breathed. These ruins are part of his temple complex. Jack ran a hand over the stone, fingers lingering on a series of jagged slashes. Looks like we're not the first ones here. 
He met her eyes, something grim in his expression. Ethan? Samantha swallowed hard against the sudden tightness in her throat. He was here. We're on the right track. Night fell with a vengeance, the jungle coming alive with the eerie symphony of nocturnal creatures. Huddled around a meager fire, Samantha tried not to flinch at the myriad eyes glowing in the darkness, just beyond the temple walls. Or the solid warmth of Jack's body near hers. Stop it, she muttered, as much to herself as to him. Jack glanced at her, shadows dancing over his chiseled face. Stop what? Stop looking at me like, like you used to. Like you still. She shook her head sharply. We're not those people anymore, Jack. Aren't we? He shifted closer, his thigh pressing against hers. His voice dropped to a rough whisper. Is that why your pulse speeds up when I'm near, Sammy? Why your eyes linger when you think I'm not looking? Samantha's breath hitched, heat curling in her belly. Damn him. Damn him for seeing through her so effortlessly even now. What we had, it was a fantasy. A beautiful lie. Even to her own ears, the words rang hollow. I won't let you break my heart again. I never meant to break it in the first place. Calloused fingers caught her chin, tipping her face to his. In the flickering light, his eyes shone with raw emotion. Losing you was the biggest mistake of my life, Samantha Ray. And I'll spend the rest of it making it right if you'll let me. Time seemed to slow, the air between them crackling with tension. Samantha's gaze fell to his mouth. So close she could feel the heat of his breath. It would be so easy to give in to let the old fire consume her. A twig snapped in the darkness, shattering the moment. Samantha and Jack sprang apart, reaching for their weapons. A shadowed figure emerged from the tree line, face obscured by a tattered hood. Who's there? Samantha demanded, cocking her pistol. Show yourself. Slowly, the figure raised gnarled hands, pushing back the hood. Samantha's heart stopped dead in her chest. Ethan? Her brother's once handsome face was scored with feverish scratches, his green eyes, so like her own, glassy and vacant. He held out a trembling hand, something glinting dully against his grimy palm. The mask of the jaguar god. Its obsidian surface seemed to swallow the firelight, the curve of its fangs cruel and hungry. Samantha, Ethan rasped. You shouldn't have come. It's too late for me. No, Ty. Samantha took a step forward, trying to still the terrible shaking in her limbs. Ethan, whatever spell that thing has over you, fight it. This isn't you. A chilling laugh spilled from her brother's cracked lips. Oh, but it is. More than you could ever understand. His gaze slid to Jack, sharpening. Isn't that right, Ryder? Dread pooled in Samantha's gut as she turned to face Jack. What is he talking about? Jack's jaw clenched, something haunted in his eyes. Sammy, I... He knows, Ethan hissed. He's known all along. About the curse. About our legacy. A manic grin split his face. After all, it takes a blackthorn to find a blackthorn. Samantha shook her head in mute denial, even as the pieces slotted into awful clarity. Jack's uncanny ability to find her, no matter how far she ran. Cryptic comments about her mother's bloodline. The dark pull she'd always felt towards him, like calling to like, you're one of them, she whispered. And you use me to find the mask. Jack reached for her, desperation etched into every line of his face. It's not like that, Sammy. I swear to God, he but Ethan was already moving, a blur of shadow and glinting obsidian. The mask slammed into place over his face, with a sickening crunch, ancient tribal magic flaring to life in a burst of emerald light. Samantha screamed, the sound swallowed by the rising wail of the jungle. The earth shook beneath her feet, stone cracking like brittle bones. Over the din, she heard Jack roar her name, felt his arms clasp around her waist. Then, the world fell away, and there was only darkness. The middle act ratchets up the emotional stakes and supernatural suspense as shocking revelations about Ethan and Jack shatter, Samantha's reality. 
Forced to confront her brother's horrifying transformation and Jack's betrayal, she's plunged into a nightmare of cursed bloodlines and dark magic. The ruined Mayan temple provides an eerie, claustrophobic setting for Samantha's emotional confrontation with Jack, their simmering history reaching a fever pitch. And Ethan's sudden, monstrous appearance wielding the fabled mask propels the story into the realm of the uncanny, a terrifying collision of ancient evil and twisted familial ties. As the jungle itself rises up in violent upheaval, Samantha and Jack are left battling not only the primordial horrors without, but the long-buried feelings within. Battered by loss and lies, Samantha must find the strength to save her brother and her own soul before the curse swallows them whole. Samantha clawed her way back to consciousness, head pounding in time with her racing heart. Blinking grit from her eyes, she found herself sprawled on the damp jungle floor, the ruins of the Mayan temple looming above her like broken teeth. Beside her, Jack groaned, shakily pushing himself up on his elbows. A gash marred his forehead, blood painting a garish streak down his ashen face. Ethan, Samantha croaked, fighting the wave of nausea that crashed over her as she struggled to stand. Where is he? As if in answer, an inhuman roar shook the earth, sending a cascade of stone and dust raining down. Through the haze, a figure emerged. A nightmarish blend of man and beast, obsidian mask fused to flesh. The jaguar god, given unholy life through her brother's body. Ethan, please. Samantha stumbled forward, one hand outstretched. Hot tears carved tracks through the dirt on her cheeks. I know you're still in there. You have to fight it. The creature that had been Ethan snarled, lips curling back to reveal wickedly sharp canines. Emerald energy pulsed across the surface of the mask, ancient hieroglyphs flaring to life. Your brother is gone, it hissed, voice guttural and distorted. Only I remain. And soon, all will kneel before me. Like hell. Jack staggered to Samantha's side, blood-slicked fingers wrapping around hers. She flinched at the contact, betrayal still raw and festering, but held tight. In that moment, Facing down an abomination wearing her brother's face, Jack's solid presence was the only thing keeping her grounded. The only thing holding back the gibbering insanity, clawing at the edges of her mind. We can't let it leave this place, Jack said grimly, blue eyes hard as flint. The jaguar god will burn the world to ash. I won't lose Ethan. Samantha's grip tightened, nails biting into his palm. I won't let that thing take the only family I have left. The creature laughed a sound like shattering glass. Foolish girl. You are a blackthorn. Darkness is your birthright. It spread its arms, clawed fingers curling in malevolent glee. Embrace it, as your brother has. Embrace me. Samantha shook her head fiercely, rage and anguish warring in her chest. Never. I make my own fate. With a wordless cry of defiance, she launched herself at the beast, Jack moving with her in perfect synchronicity. The jungle exploded into chaos. Vines lashed out like striking serpents, thorns tearing flesh and clothes. The very air crackled with eldritch power as the jaguar god roared its fury, the sound shaking Samantha to her bones. She ducked and weaved, barely avoiding a swipe of razor claws. Beside her, Jack grappled with a writhing mass of roots, mache flashing silver in the sickly green light. But for every blow they landed, the creature seemed to grow stronger, feeding off the jungle's primordial rage. Despair crashed over Samantha as she sprawled in the dirt, pain lanced through her battered body. They couldn't win. The jaguar god was too powerful, its magic too ancient. Ethan was lost to her, consumed by the curse that poisoned their blood. Suddenly, Jack was there, hauling her to her feet. His face swam before her, streaked with gore and grime, but his eyes, his eyes blazed with a fire she hadn't seen in years. The fire that had first drawn her to him like a moth to a flame. Do you trust me, Sammy? His voice was rough, urgent. She stared at him, chest heaving. A thousand memories flickered through her mind, Stolen kisses under desert stars, heated arguments over crumbling maps, 
the shattering pain of his betrayal. But beneath it all, like a glowing ember, the undeniable truth, she had never stopped loving him. And she knew with bone-deep certainty that he had never stopped loving her. Yes, she whispered. God help me, yes. Jack's lips crashed against hers, the kiss searing and desperate. Samantha clung to him, pouring every ounce of love, every shred of forgiveness into the embrace. And deep within her, something shattered. A wall around her heart, erected by years of grief and self-preservation. In its place, a blinding light unfurled, pure and powerful. They broke apart, chests heaving. In Jack's eyes, Samantha saw the same realization, the same awe. Their love, once thought lost, now reforged in the crucible of this nightmare. A love, strong enough to break any curse. Hand in hand, they turned to face the jaguar god, now towering over them in a maelstrom of dark magic. But Samantha felt no fear, only a calm, unshakable certainty. Ethan, she called, voice ringing clear over the howling winds. I know you can hear me. I know you're still fighting. Tears spilled down her cheeks, but she smiled through them, radiant with love. Come back to me, little brother. Come back to the light. For a single, breathless moment, the world stood still. Then, impossibly, a shudder ran through the creature's twisted form. The sickly green light of the mask flickered, dimmed. And Ethan's voice, strained and distant, echoed from the depths. Samantha, help me? Nashe, Elvia, Fallen. With a wordless cry, Samantha surged forward, Jack at her side. They crashed into the jaguar god, pouring every ounce of their combined strength, their unbreakable bond, into the impact. Light exploded outward, blinding in its intensity. The mask shattered, obsidian shards dissolving into glittering dust. An agonized scream tore the air, ancient and inhuman, before fading into silence. And Ethan, battered and bleeding but unmistakably human, collapsed into Samantha's arms. She held him close, tears flowing freely as she pressed desperate kisses to his hair. Jack's arms encircled them both, strong and steady. They had done it. They had faced the darkness and triumphed not through violence or hatred, but through the power of their love. A love that had weathered storms, endured betrayals, and emerged all the stronger. Samantha knew the road ahead would not be easy. Ethan's mind and body would bear the scars of his ordeal, and her own heart would need time to fully heal. But as she looked up at Jack, at the devotion shining in his eyes, she knew they would face it together. No more running, no more walls. They were bound now by blood and by choice. And in the end, that was the greatest adventure of all.